Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Skyrim's Special Edition. My name's Camel, and today I have a guide for you for the unique necklace known as the Charmed Necklace. And while it is unique and can be very useful for very specific low-level players, for the most part, it's just a collectible unique item. Now, you don't need to be any specific level, nor do you need to go to any specific location, as this can only be acquired via a random encounter. So, if you do wish to hunt this down, I would suggest just walking around the map constantly following the roads and triggering all of the random encounter spawn points. But I guarantee if you just play the game normally, eventually you'll run into these guys. Three revelers. Three guys drinking and partying. One will approach us. Hey, friend. It's good to see another merry soul enjoying this fine day. Ah, but you look tired. Come, share a bottle of hunting brew mead with me. Now to get the necklace just from dialogue, we need to select the bottom option. Why only have one bottle when you can have two? However, for this dialogue option to appear, you do need to be carrying hunting brew mead in your inventory. If you do not have hunting brew mead in your inventory, this dialogue option will not come up. So, I would suggest you always carry around one bottle with you just in case. Ismir's beard, you're one after my own heart. I would love another bottle. This good deed should not go unrewarded. Here, take this. Cheers, my friend. May your adventures find you fame and fortune. Now, if you weren't carrying one with you and you encountered these guys, you can steal it from them or kill them and then just take it from their body. And only one of them will be carrying the necklace. So, now you've got it from any of those methods, we have the Charmed Necklace. Its slot is, of course, the neck. Its weight is 0.5. It has a value of 790. Its enchantment, fortify carry weight, 25 points. So, the Charm Necklace, is this actually useful to anyone? I would say yes. To a low-level character, Carry weight's very important, as at that point in the game you have the lowest carry weight you'll ever have during the game, and also because you're starting off in the game you want to be able to carry as much as possible, whether it's just taking extra stuff with you out into the wilderness or bringing back extra goods to sell in the towns and markets. So whatever you do wish to use carry weight for, it is a very important element of starting off with a new character in Skyrim. So I would say that yes, for brand new characters, the Charm Necklace is definitely useful. Eventually, in 10-15 levels, it will of course be overshadowed by much more powerful and much more useful necklaces, but when you're starting out, this uh, fortified carry weight by 25 points is very useful, and probably the best necklace with an enchantment you'll find for the first 10 or 15 levels of a new character's playthrough. If you are a higher level character and this enchantment is of no use to you whatsoever, that's fine, you don't have to get it. However, if you are a collector and a completionist, and interested in all of the tiny and obscure unique items that can be found in Skyrim, be sure to carry a bottle of hunting brew mead with you, and if not, just kill the reveler. Either way, the charmed necklace is definitely something on the wish list for all the collectors of you out there. And again, very useful for those of you at low levels. Now, in appearance, the charmed necklace is identical to a golden necklace. And as soon as you do get your hands on it, you will quickly discover it is your new luck Lucky charm, the necklace. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, I've been Camel, and this has been my guide for the unique necklace known as the Charmed Necklace in Skyrim. If you did enjoy this video, and you would like to see other videos similar to this one, all the links to the other Skyrim Special Edition guides that I've already done can be found in the description of this video. Down there is also links to my social media, including Twitter and Patreon. Be sure to hit them up if you are keen in supporting the channel. Please don't forget to leave a like, share it with anyone who needs some charming, leave a comment if your voice must be heard, and of course if you would like to see more videos similar to this one in the future, please consider subscribing. I'll love you for it. And as I'm sure you know, all of my time and energy goes into making these videos for you, so your support is most welcomed in any and all forms. With that said, I would like to thank you very much for watching, and I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there soon.